Welcome to Discover Talent Presents. Folks, in this series, what we want to cover in MS Excel, how we can do a statistics, okay? And these are the topic formulas which widely used by the statistician or maybe our Six Sigma experts, okay? Managers and the business leaders. For so, now, we are here to make you understand how it's easy and you can do it by your own, okay? So we have this uh, sales data added over here and accordingly, we have the expenses. Cool. Now, what we gonna cover? We cover a mean, standard deviation, correlation, linear regression, median, and more. Okay, for the individual categories. So let's get started. Here, we'll say mean, which means our average. For what average we needed? I mean, for expenses or sales. So here we have mentioned sales. So that's what we are adding this, and this is the average for us. Cool. Now what we want, we want a standard deviation for our expenses. Okay. So let me just use a formula is equal to STDEV. Okay. Dot S and then for expenses. So this is the standard deviation formula for me. Cool. So, so far we have uh, covered average and a standard deviation. Cool. Now what we want, we want a correlation between sales and expenses. Okay, so we want to correlate that, you know, how it works basically. So, correlation, I will say array 1, which is my A2 until A11, cool, and the B2 to until B11. So, this is my second array. This is how it's correlated to me. Now, I want to identify a linear regression slope and intercept for now we'll only add a intercept over here slope we will explain you in the next video series okay creating a chart with the help of charts only you can directly get that result is equal to index and linest i will say b2 until b11 comma likewise i have my known axis so these are the known axis for me comma here true why we are using true true is b is calculated normally so basically it's calculated normally so i'm just say true comma here i have written a additional regression statistics so that's the reason i have selected this cool then what i want i will just close this particular array comma i have this row number one row number one cool and the column is again column number i want a column number so i'll just say column number this packet close press enter so this is what i got from linear regression now it's a very simple median and mode always remember mean median mode we always do it okay uh, and majority times we focus on this mean median mode only okay to get the numbers calculated yeah median is basically to calculate a median of your sales data okay so let me just show you with a formula median and this is for my sales data so i'll just select this and the 325 so this is the median for this particular values yeah so we can go manually and just check the what is the median value for a given data set so it's a simple formula to calculate in ms itself mode now mode mode is basically how what are the frequent values are we are seeing in the on uh, particular data array so those particular part covering the mode segment and the mode formula basically cool. so this is my mode formula for me and this is the range here i have checked kept this dummy data for you so you can directly relate that what will be the result okay so that's what i keep this data set very simple okay so you can understand it very better manner cool you can see it's 50 all right here is the 50 cool so this is how most frequent used statistics functions we have covered in this entire series. I hope you found it useful folks. So please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching.